Do you know why age four is sometimes called the lost year? To some parents, it can feel a little bit like an in-between phase. Your child really came into their self and their personality at age three. You saw so many rapid changes in those first years of life. At four, your child's development doesn't look like those big wow moments like it did at three. But the idea of a lost year couldn't be more wrong. In fact, this year is a critical time of growth and learning. It is the time to build important skills they'll use for the rest of their life. More specifically, it's a set of skills that are called executive function skills. These skills are one of the biggest predictors of academic achievement. They include the ability to stay focused, follow directions, plan ahead, persist even when they're frustrated, be organized and have self-control. Beyond academic achievement, research finds that executive functioning skills are also often tied to your overall future well-being. We're all born with the capacity to build these skills, but development won't just happen on its own. Your child really benefits from practice, exposure, tools, and role modeling from you. And what better way to learn than through play that your child will love? One additional thing to share about this year, ability at four spans a really wide range. We made sure that the playthings in this year can start from wherever your child is currently at and build to very advanced levels that will continue to challenge them well into their elementary years. You'll be amazed to see the growth in your child this year. This play kit is all about flexible thinking. Your child will learn to take on new perspectives, create and recreate scenes in new ways, and adjust the way that they approach challenges. Let's start by talking about pretend play. Your four-year-old has advanced to a new level of complexity. At two, your child's pretend play may have looked like wheeling vehicles around and tucking these little figurines to sleep. At three, it expanded to opening and closing doors and locks and playing with the playhouse and rooming vehicles down ramps. At four, your child's play becomes more sophisticated and they want their playthings to be able to flex and change and grow with their imagination. The Wooden Modular Village and Pathways gives your four-year-old a chance to expand and create scenes from above. We saw this again and again when we tested the village with families. Children want to stretch out and move around the room, and they like to build their imaginary world from overhead instead of looking inside. And every time they play, they can use the pieces in new ways to create new and different stories. This is called set shifting, and it's an important part of flexible thinking that allows us to move quickly and easily between tasks. I want to take a minute to talk about the friends and swing set that comes with the village. This is Aaliyah and this is Jay Young. One of our goals with these figurines was to introduce a character with a physical disability. Aaliyah is a power wheelchair user. But when we discuss disability, it's important to teach children that everyone's body sometimes needs help. So in our ways to play guide, we talk about one of Jay Young's needs. He has a serious food allergy, so adults help him to select safe foods to enjoy. We worked with two highly respected disability experts who are wheelchair users themselves because we really wanted to accurately reflect and respect that lived expertise. The friends come with this wheelchair accessible swing set. It's a natural and active way for Leah and Jae Young to play together. And it teaches your child to envision a world where every person can access every space. In this parent guide, we included conversation prompts to guide you to initiate important discussions around topics like disabilities and food allergies, consent, and respect. There are other toy microscopes in the market, but we sought out to create the best real scientific tool and one that's age appropriate and designed for independent play. This discover and inspect microscope is a real working microscope with a light that stays on when you press the button and two focus styles that zoom in and out, one for coarse focus and one for fine focus. What's so fun is that the microscope is removable from the stand so your child can take it outside and put the scope directly on what they want to see. It comes with 48 real life images and a specimen clip your child will be fascinated to click through the life cycle stages of a monarch butterfly starting with an egg and a frog starting from a tadpole. There's also an image slide wheel showing really interesting insects that lets you zoom into the details you can't see with the naked eye, like the scales and the fine hairs on a moth's wings. Another image slide wheel uses progressively zoomed in photography so your child can see and understand the orders of magnitude all the way to the cellular level of a leaf or human skin. 
And for more independent play, the miniature slide wheel is like an I Spy game, where the child can match what they see in the microscope to the key in the microscope guide. For the most advanced play, your child can practice collecting and preparing specimens, like pepper or a leaf they find in a walk, and place them in the specimen clip. Your child will use their flexible thinking skills to see that the same things can look so different from different perspectives. When you're done, you can put everything away in the storage base. Altogether, this is a set that will be engaging for years. My eight-year-old and her 10-year-old friends love it. Every parent wants their child to be more independent and help around the house. But some charts or reward systems can actually deplete a child's natural drive. This daily help reward is designed to encourage your child's intrinsic motivation and build their independence. They'll be so proud to participate and keep track of their household contributions. We talked to so many experts and put so much thought into making this board align with Montessori and the latest science on the brain's reward system. There are four key things to know about the daily help reward. First, it's a tool that the entire family can use because it's important for your child to see that household tasks are a group effort that everyone contributes to, instead of just focusing on themselves. This framework might not feel so critical right now, but trust me, it will really pay off when they're a teenager. Two, not all parents realize that a gradual release of responsibility, starting tasks doing together, and then working up to your child's independence is the best way to build habits. This is a visual representation of that concept. It shows how responsibility can move from show me how to do something to help me do something together to let me do it all by myself. Three, keeping track of family responsibilities for children who are not yet reading is hard. We've equipped your family with a visual tool that your child can update themselves. They will love their sense of responsibility and accomplishment when a task like watering a plant without spilling moves from we can do this together on this side of the board to I can do this myself on the other side. Once your child has a set of independent responsibilities, you can use the need to do and all done. I'm using this right now with B to track her morning responsibilities. It is really helping us get out the door. <laughs> Fourth and finally, these magnets give you lots of ideas you might not have thought of, like setting the table or mopping or sorting their socks, even packing their lunch. You may be familiar with the Montessori dressing frame or buckle boards, tools that are designed to help your child practice practical fine motor skills like buttoning and threading, zipping, snapping, buckling. The Inventor Adventure Pack makes this fine motor skill practice so much more rewarding because it's purposeful. They can actually wear it and use it. Four-year-olds love stashing things and wearing that stash of treasures, it is so much fun. The pack is full of choices that require flexible thinking and creativity. Because there are multiple configurations and options, your child can decide which side did they display. It's reversible. Coin pocket in, out, or off. What will they put in it? It can even hold the microscope to get a close look at those treasures they collect. In this book, Charlie learns something new. Charlie is trying to solve a puzzle, but when her older sister points out a mistake, Charlie feels defeated. Your child might recognize the puzzle in the book because it's from a previous play kit. Whether that puzzle's easy for them now or they're still challenged by it, they'll see a story about persistence that they can relate to. Like so many Love Every stories, Charlie is persisting through frustration and it's a model for your child. Spoiler alert, Charlie never actually completes the puzzle. All of a sudden, at age five, children are expected to be able to do so many things, but that can be frustrating for parents who don't have a guide to follow. So we talked to a lot of professionals to create the Developmental Milestone Booklet. It shares how you can help your child work towards the milestones associated with age five in terms of executive function, social emotional, language and communication, literacy and writing, cognitive and problem solving and math, and fine motor and gross motor skills. It's a lot and everything you need to know. Every play kit always includes the play guide, a really comprehensive tool for you. Ranges of ability are wider at this age and the play guide can show you how to use the playthings and tools in a way that meets your child where they're at right now. And it also guides you through the new ways to play and more advanced activities with the same playthings as your child develops more and more skills.